Our fuel of the future, hydrogen offers the potential to end the world's dependence on fossil fuels as nations work to meet climate goals. And as part of Singapore's efforts to go green, Nanyang Technological University is pressing ahead with designing a cost-effective hydrogen supply chain network for the Little Red Dot. To help us unpack this rather complicated project, my colleague Otelli Edwards is speaking to project lead Professor Shri Rong, Research Director of Engineering and Physical Sciences from NTU. Well, uh, thanks for joining us, Professor. Let's uh, just begin with the basics. You know, hydrogen fuel, as we all know, it's clean, it's flexible and energy efficient. But how do you plan to turn your technologies into usable, practical solutions for, you know, Singapore's energy needs? Uh, well, Singapore is the first country in ASEAN to uh, put forward strategic plans uh, to transition towards the low-carbon economy. But we all know that Singapore doesn't have enough renewable energy resources, for example, wind and uh, solar energy. So importing low-carbon hydrogen to Singapore is important and is a realistic solution. So right now, some sectors, for example, refineries, and the city gas have already used hydrogen. And uh, other sectors, for example, power, will be ready to use the low carbon hydrogen in the near future. Of course, um, uh, safety is another important factor to be considered when developing our future energy supply chain on our small island. Mm. So if now is the time to scale up technologies, bring down costs, you know, to allow hydrogen to, to become more widely used, what are some of the, ch of the challenges or the obstacles that you face? Um, maybe first let me elaborate um, why this technology is uh, ready to be adopted. So among our industrial collaborators, uh, Chioda uh, innovated the Sparrow Hydrogen Technology which allows the transportation of hydrogen in the liquid form of uh, methylcyclohexane, MCH in short, you just remember MCH. So MCH is a commodity and uh, existing petrochemical product. So it's compatible with uh, refinery and uh, petroleum infrastructure. Chioda has uh, successfully implemented the world's uh, first uh, global hydrogen supply chain demonstration project between Japan and uh, Brunei. So this technology is uh, already can be adopted and it will enable us to transport hydrogen from uh, regions uh, overseas with uh, surplus renewables to Singapore and to uh, meet our energy demand. However, uh, further research uh, is required because we still have to reduce the cost of hydrogen so that uh, it will be more widely uh, used. Mm. Now, you mentioned about reducing, you know, the cost. And there's also this um, concern that, you know, whether this hydrogen bubble would burst down uh, the road, um, you know, because as good as, as it may seem, there are clearly obstacles as well that you face. Yeah, I, I guess I mentioned very briefly earlier, safety is always an important concern. I myself is not the subject as, as expert, uh, my colleagues, uh, maybe in, in my university and maybe in the company, they will address this uh, safety uh, problem and we'll make sure in the actual deployment, hydrogen is uh, treated in a safe manner, so to deliver the clean energy. All right, many thanks for, for speaking with us, Professor Shirong, Research Director of Engineering and Physical Sciences from NTU.